We're back. Welcome back to another bag review by Dave Sam. We are back from a extra long mental health hiatus, which was very necessary, very relaxing. It's been two months since my last video, which is a, a little bit of a while. I was uh, getting lost in some NFTs and other hobbies, but now I'm back. I'm refreshed and I'm ready to talk about bags. For those of you who don't know me or maybe don't remember me, my name is Dave Sam and I regularly share my opinion on bags with you. Today we're taking a look at a bag and a company that have an absolute cult following. The GR2 from GORUCK. And this specific GR2 is the Caden edition that is a collaboration with Carryology. So it's gonna have a couple of special features that we'll get into. If you're unfamiliar with GORUCK, they have quite a unique backstory. Being born in war-torn West Africa in 2008 with a former Special Forces agent, Jason McCarthy, and a former CIA agent, Emily McCarthy. And if you are wondering, yes, they are married. They had one simple goal build a rucksack with life or death quality standards that could flow between Baghdad or NYC. The first thing they produced was the GR1 and they followed it up with the GR2 and they've since brought that quality and that standard to every bit of gear that they produce. And a lot of it is even workout ready or workout equipment. So you'll see there's a whole rucking community and rucking movement online as soon as you look up the Go Ruck community. <laughs> For those of you familiar with the channel, you know we're starting with the outside of the bag, and today we stay true to our true self, my true self, all black everything, which is one of my favorite, favorite things about some of these Carryology collaborations. They're pretty much all in all black. There is the occasional camo that pops up, but uh, this all black, especially with some of these leather accents, looks primo. The GR2 generally comes in four colors, a black, a coyote, a bluish gray, which they call steel, and then a multicam camo. Multicam camo? A multicam camo? Multicam camo. The GR2 is generally made out of 1000D Cordura. You can find 500D Cordura variants. This, however, is an X-Pack variant. It uses a VX42 X-Pack, uh, which just adds a little water and slash resistance to the bag overall. Just like every one of the Carryology collaborations, there is a specialty patch right here, if you can see it. This is the first time I took it off. It is a specialty patch. It is probably hard to see, not in the light. And what's special about the Cated Patch is this was actually designed by an Argentinian artist named Sebastian Cabral. I hope I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I'm not. And it has this very, very unique kind of skull design on it, which I personally love. I hadn't actually taken this patch off until right then and there when I recorded it. So um, shows you how much I like it. I don't plan on replacing it whatsoever. Along the top, as well as the bottom. There are two beefy leather wrapped handles. These are pretty wonderful to use. The stitching overall is great. Uh, I'd have no, no qualms whatsoever that this is going to come loose, break, anything like that. And even if any of that happened to the bag at any point in time, uh, Go Ruck has their scars warranty takes care of the bag. This one being a special edition, they may not be able to replace it if it gets too messed up, but they will go out of their way to try to fix it at the very least. If they can't, I am pretty certain they would replace it with at least another GR2. I hope that I don't ruin it because this is pretty much irreplaceable to me. And last but not least, we have the harness system, which is beautifully comfortable. Super beefy shoulder pads here. On the back, there is also a good amount of cushion on the harness system here, or on this back paneling. Uh, there's also a steel frame in back here that is removable, however, I left it in. I would say I would have preferred maybe a little more padding, uh, just to give these air channels a little bit more room to breathe. When it's on your back, it does get a little bit sweaty. However, it does stay comfortable for a very, very long time. The one other thing I'll mention is just on this sternum strap. This is extra, did not come with the bag. They sell this for like 15 bucks or something on the website. At this size, I personally like having a sternum strap. I also like having a hip strap. So one of the things that's different about the 
Caden edition from the GR2 or the normal GR2 is it's a slick version or at least a bit of a slick version in that it doesn't have the Molly attachments on the side so that you can attach that hip strap or hip pull. But the normal version does have that. So if you do want to get that as an accessory, you can get that as an add-on as well. I think it's like either 25 or 45 bucks on the website. Um, and you can then have a hip strap for your bag, especially this size can get pretty packed out depending on the density. I'm about six feet tall, 200 pounds. And see, this is how the bag carries on me. Definitely on the beefy side. Moving on to my favorite part of the bag review, which is the inside of the bag. This is a 34 liter bag with four huge compartments that we're gonna talk about. So. Let's dive right in. Like I mentioned, we've got four external pockets. We've got the slant pocket at the front. Uh, what I'll dub right behind that, the accessory slash tech pocket, which is huge. We've got the main compartment right behind that. And then of course, we've got the laptop compartment that sits right at the back here. I'm gonna start at the back with the laptop compartment. It has a fairly unique design uh, in that it doesn't open all the way or it's not kind of like a clamshell of any kind. It has this like three quarter or halfway opening in which you can then pop it to the side or pop it open and pull your laptop out. Now, this is a mighty small laptop. This is a 12 inch laptop that I have in here. Uh, this could easily fit a 17, maybe even an 18 inch laptop. It is a huge compartment, swallows this thing whole, and it also has a false bottom. So on the bottom here, there's probably a good inch or so before the laptop is hitting the floor. Nice, well-protected compartment. This is also the ever famous bomb proof compartment. So it's meant to keep your laptop safe even if you do encounter a bomb. Uh, I don't personally want to try it, at least on myself. Uh, however, I have been thinking about a way that I maybe could try it. So we'll see if we can do that on the channel this year. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Now, just in front of that, we've got the main compartment and you can kind of see the dimension here. I would say it goes to about here all the way to the back. So it is taking up a majority of that 34 liters, protected by a YKK AquaGuard zip, as are all of the zippers. Uh, these two, I believe, are number 10s. They are pretty beefy. If you've ever used a GR1 or a GR2, you know they use that regular reverse coil zipper. Super smooth to use. These, because they're a little extra waterproof, a little tougher as far as how you can use them or open and close them, but still goes all the way down to the bottom and gives you access to this really nice clamshell opening. I don't have a ton in here. I just have a extra backpack, tech case, and another tech case just to have filled it out a little bit, but you can see there is a good amount of space in here. Along the top, there is the Molly attachment. So if you do have any Molly accessories, you can attach those in here. I decided to go without it this time to leave this for clothes and other things. The main compartment overall was a dream to use. It was super easy to pack. This is where I kept all of my clothes for the most part. So I had a big packing cube in here, five days worth of clothes, an extra pair of shoes. Uh, I kept some of my smaller items that I was gonna use on the plane up here, like a uh, face mask and a plane pillow. I also had room for one of those portable speakers, my JBL speaker, which all fit in here really nicely. And I honestly still had some extra room to pack. Moving up one more pocket, we're gonna be talking about this section or this area now. Uh, this is what I've called the tech compartment. This is where I kept all of my tech and I think I will keep to this setup for the most part anytime I use this bag. Also has a clamshell opening with a double zip, YKK, AquaGuard, all the nice stuff. And when you open this up, you also have that kind of clamshell design. Just have a jacket in here. To add a little space, we'll start with the laptop side. Uh, you can see there is a built-in pocket up here. I loved this pocket. It has, it also has a double zip. I left my headphones in here because I just wanted to be able to grab them super quickly. But if you look inside, there are some nice mesh pockets for some separation. This could easily be a quick access compartment if you wanted to throw like your phone, wallet, and other things in here. Sits right at the top of the bag, built in. Really, really nice. Just below that, uh, I kept my iPad pad in here and this is just a simple mesh compartment slips on the side 
super easy to slide something like an iPad in and out. You could keep other things like clothes in these areas. I've definitely seen packouts like that. I don't usually take that much clothes. I'm more of a tech buff. So I filled this to the brim with tech. On the opposite or the flap side, you have a pretty much a mirror image overall of the bag side. You've got another slip pocket that is on the side here, zippered slip pocket, see-through mesh. And then at the very top, you just have one single slip here. So there's no extra compartments or anything up there um, or extra slip pockets in there. Just a nice, easy, quick access, access compartment. I kept my extra cables in here, actually. And then you can see just the branding here from GORUCK and Carryology as well. Nice, simple branding on the inside, which is pretty nice, pretty cool. Last but not least, we have a pocket that I in all honesty, just didn't like to use. Uh, this slant pocket is generally a little harder to use on all the GORUCK bags, but it's made a little easier by the zipper. That reverse coil zipper is super smooth to go in and out, so you can get into this pocket a little more easily. For this one, because they still protected it with an AquaGuard YKK zipper, that stiffness that comes with this zipper is still there and makes it much, much harder to use, especially with this flap. On another version, I would recommend at least getting rid of the flap if you're gonna keep the YKK or potentially go with that reverse coil zipper like the past because again, you do have the flap. It was real tough to use. Uh, that being said, it does have some dimension, which is really nice. Uh, and it does go almost all the way to the bottom. But if you can see the design here, it is slanted on the front portion. Uh, so anything you do slip in here, which I just used for a notebook, will still sit pretty comfortably up. Now onto what everybody's waiting for, the brass tacks and recommendations. This bag is a bag that I paid way too much for. Uh, however, it is a beautiful collector's item. There are not gonna be a lot of them around. One and only patch, if you will. Uh, I don't know how many of these they made, but I can tell you that it is not a mass produced bag. So for me, I have no problem spending money on things that are limited, collector's items. That's probably why I ended up getting into NFTs. Uh, but things that are collector's items, I do end up loving. So the original GORUCK GR2 runs about 425 on the website. Uh, I don't even remember what I paid for this, but I think it was closer to $600. So who is the bag for? If you are looking for a one bag travel machine, uh, something that's indestructible and basically waterproof, weather resistant. Look no further, you found the bag for you. They have made a borderline perfect bag, in my opinion. The versatility that it allows for with the compartments, the way that they're set up, the number of pockets that you're given, it's just a joy to use. So who is this bag not for? This bag is extra rugged. It takes a certain kind of individual to want to wear this. You're not making a fashion statement by picking up a GORUCK GR2, though I think they're pretty bags. For the most part, they look very uh, utilitarian, if you will, as far as bags go. So if that's not your style, if you don't need, you know, a bomb-proof compartment, which I think the vast, vast majority of us don't, um, or don't want one, I should say, because we don't need it for the most part, uh, maybe this isn't going to be the bag for you. Additionally, that 1000D Cordura, though it's almost indestructible, can be very rough to the touch. So if you are uh, inexperienced with using a rucksack or something that's this tactical, and it's set up, uh, that can be a rough bout of travel if you're gonna you know, be walking through airports for several hours and things, you might get a little uncomfortable. So uh, it does take a little getting used to, but overall, great bag and I would highly recommend. Thanks for watching another bag review by Dave Sam. Today we took a look at a bag that has quickly become Honestly, one of my favorite bags to use. I plan on using it for almost all my travel this year, depending on size, of course, but I think for me, it meets pretty much every need. I fell in love using it. So extra fun to make this overall. Uh, definitely happy to be back, happy to be making videos again. You will not see me on hiatus for the next two months. Uh, the plan is to keep making videos every couple weeks or so, just like last year's status. If you haven't already, you know, go down, like the video. It definitely helps me out a ton. Subscribe to the channel, get notified, all those fun things. And while you're down there, 
leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the Kata and the GR2, other bags in the category, other travel bags that you wanna hear about. Uh, and let me know your thoughts. Uh, you know I'm down there responding as often as possible. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this bag review by Dave Sam. We got some more to come. There's a few in the background here. You can see we're gonna be making some videos. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.